okay so now at the moment uh, regardless of the distance from the player to the enemy character the detection speed is same to test that let me put this guy somewhere like here and I'll place my character over here so if I came here you can see the detection bar fills up pretty quick and even if this guy see speed is same regardless of the distance to between two characters so I want to fix that that's one thing and the next thing I want to fix is this while the detection happens if I if I kill the characters no I can't preview it here let me put this here so if I quickly kill the character before detection is complete the see the detection bar stays in the UI that is the next thing I want to fix all right so regarding the detection and speed we should be able to easily fix it if I let me open the air controller if I consider the distance between two player as a factor of the detection speed right now here yeah this is where the detection happens mm. so these levels are actually integers not floats so therefore we can't have decimal values but here instead of adding one what we if we had a specific number and set player detection level sorry like this so this part can be calculated based on the distance actually this is also here subtract so yeah instead of zero we can have something like this uh, divide value let's say what kind of a distance we usually have in between characters let me go to the top view right this is player if I press left mouse button sorry middle mouse button pressed you can see this has dimensions of total level 3000 3000 so like 6000 and yeah so that this is like also 6000 okay so here let's have a value like 10,000 and let's do so this is only relevant for players so get a character get actor location and then also we need to get the uh, location of this controlled pawn get controlled 
phone and get back to location wait is it or are these details already available with perception yeah maybe but let's just do it like this it's just a simple detection uh, distance calculation so right and let's divide 10,000 with this value so here to be safe let's clamp this in between 0 and sorry not 0 1 and 5 So when the enemy is closer, I should get detected pretty quickly and when enemy is far, the detection speed should be slow. Let me put this guy maybe over here so we can easily test with the other guy. Put my character behind this initially so we can easily test the situation right now if i go here oh that guy turned around oh he's not seeing me why not did i break the code somewhere Oh, yeah, here. Yeah, actually, what happens here is uh, I am out of the vision range that I have defined here. That's why that guy didn't see me previously. 3,500. 3,000 plus. 3500 okay so that means 6500 so the distance between the player and this guy should be larger than 6500 i think that's why i didn't that guy didn't detect me before let's see oh it's 3000 so yeah then this radius okay ah ah okay i guess then Three uh, if the characters are further apart than 3500 they don't see me okay so let me put him a bit closer so we can make sure that he see me see oh it was fast ah yeah it was fast because this value we had like 3000 as the distance and here 10,000 10,000 divided by 3000 we get something like 3 so let's make this 3000 now it should be pretty slow see right now if i put the character here the detection should be almost instant uh, not like not almost instant pretty fast okay let's test again let me just run to this guy see I was detected very fast uh, but yeah again if I put him here see it's slow compared 
okay that part is done and the next part is yeah this one this is you when i am getting direct detected if i kill the guy the detection meter stays here so to fix that um, um, let's do some fail safe in the ui widget itself here yeah. so we get this update percent event and here let's add uh, to no retriggerable delay with let's say five seconds so if we don't receive anything to this function if we if this function is not called for more than five seconds let's remove this widget uh, from the viewport if this is already in the viewport so is in viewport then remove from parent okay let's see that time it didn't work because I couldn't kill him wait let me make this easier by placing the barrel over here okay now you can see the direct detection meter didn't stay it went away all right that system is also working and we can stop this episode right here so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.